Hey, what's up? My name is Karina Pittman and welcome to my channel. So here we discuss all things selling online and ultimately going after your dreams. So today I want to show you a quick little walkthrough on the Scapify 2 app, which you typically see in my retail arbitrage videos. Scapify 2 automatically comes with a view of Inventory Lab, which I'll have a video on sometime in the future, but Inventory Lab is essentially the software that I use to create my shipments to prepare to go to Amazon. So you click on the Scatify 2 app and then it'll give you search for an item. Then at the bottom, you'll see a little clock. So this is like your past searches and then you'll have the barcode. You have a shopping cart, which you can create list while you're shopping. And then you have your settings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press search for an item. And now this section, you can either manually add the item or you can scan the barcode. So in some scenarios, you'll run into items where they don't have a barcode and you can just manually add it in. And then if not, you could just scan with the barcode. So for example, we're gonna take the book, think again, and I'm gonna show you the example of searching manually. So think again, and then just search that and it should pull it up. And this is similar to the Seller Central app. So if you don't have this, it's pretty similar. So as you can see, first one above, 118 is the rank. And then you can see there is 90 offers on this. Amazon has the buy box of 1675, but also a merchant fulfilled seller has the same buy box. And then you can see the used books and the different offers. So let's go ahead and scan the actual book. So then at the bottom, if you want to scan it, you'd press the barcode, scan it, and then the same thing will pop up. Now, what you can do if, if you're out shopping is just click on the cost unit, say this was $3, which definitely is not in store, um, and then you can see your net profit being 370, your ROI of 123%, um, so that is if you did FBA, which you could see in the corner where it says channel FBA. But if you wanted to do merchant fulfilled, you'll click that off, save changes, and then you'd put $3. The profit is higher because that does not include the FBA fees. So in this case, it says estimated merchant fulfilled shipping. So say that was like a dollar fifty, for example. So then it gives you your estimated net profit. Now that's if you match the buy box, but if you decided to just send this into Amazon through FBA and you wanted to match a higher price within the competition, you could do that. For example, if you wanted to do $24.80, that's an estimated $10 profit. At the top, then you'll see 118, which is the rank out of 62 million in the book category. And then it also tell you your prep type, so in this case, Amazon is recommending you poly bag this before shipping it out. And then and then if you look at the bottom, you could press add to cart. So then this will be your active buy list. And then at the bottom right, you'll see research. So this is when you wanna look into the Keepa graph. So you have the Amazon listing, which will take you to the Amazon website, Amazon Prime, Camel Camel, Book Scouter, eBay, Google, Amazon restrictions, so seeing if you're gated or ungated in that, and then keep up. That is really it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you have any other questions. Make sure you subscribe. Check out my free beginner guide. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.